For players that get flooded out of the NHL, Europe is the best alternative route. So for this list, we will look at 10 former NHL players that are now plying their trade in Russia's top league. Some of the choices will be obvious, but some you won't believe are still playing. So as always, feel free to add to this list in the comments down below, and to subscribe if you are just coming across my channel. Number 10, Max Talbot. The former Pittsburgh hero has been overseas for one year now, but will return a locomotive Yaroslavl this upcoming season. The fan favorite bounced around Philadelphia, Colorado, and Boston after he departed to Steel City, but has since settled down back in professional hockey. The 33-year-old scored 36 points in 60 games last year and could be a contender for Team Canada in the upcoming Olympics. Number 9, Jonathan Chichu. Never forget the former Maurice Rocket Richard Trophy winner. It's amazing how far he's fallen since topping the league in goals. However, his decline may have gone quite hidden to the casual fan. Once it was clear that he wasn't going to regain his goal scoring form, he spent three years in the AHL before deciding to trade in the buses and cheap paychecks for a more lucrative deal in Russia. He's since bounced around the KHL, playing on three different teams in four years, but has found success in all of them, scoring at a .76 point per game pace. Number 8, Pavel Datsuk. You knew it was going to be on here. Datsuk's departure from Detroit was well documented last year, but he'll be back in the spotlight for the 2018 Olympics. Well, if anyone watches it. We can only assume he's being well compensated at SKA St. Petersburg, where he scored 34 points in 44 games last season. That may not seem too impressive, but the KHL is a historically low scoring league. Anyways, we can presume Datsuk will remain at SKA until he inevitably retires. Something he should have done in Detroit. Number 7, Gilbert Brule. Yeah, I cannot believe Brule is still playing hockey either, and something even more crazy, he's only 30 years old. Anyways, he's been out of the NHL now for about 5 years, leaving at a young 24 years old, so we can assume he will continue to play in Russia for a while longer. He's jumped around too, moving from one unpronounceable team to another, but he hasn't been terrible, scoring 81 points in 151 career KHL games. Number 6, Maxim Afiniganov. Every Buffalo fan will remember Max Afiniganov, who played over 650 games in the NHL, the mass majority with Buffalo. Afiniganov was good in the NHL, if you remember. His career high was 73 points back in 2006. However, his last season in North America wasn't too shabby either. In 2009-2010, he scored 24 goals and 61 points in all 82 games with Atlanta, so it's obvious he could have continued to play here. Given that, we can only assume that he's getting paid in Russia. That or he just didn't want to move to Winnipeg. Number 5. Linus Omark Most people will remember Omark for his infamous shootout goal. However, that's about all he accomplished in the NHL. In 79 games, he only managed 8 goals and 32 points, but in the AHL, he was a point per game player. He just couldn't find that form in the next level. So of course he jumped back overseas in 2014 when he realized he just couldn't cut it, and has been outstanding since, scoring near a point per game pace in the second best league in the world. Number 4, Brandon Kozum. The only fans that will remember Kozum are Leafs fans, as he cracked the roster before being sidelined with a leg injury. He may not have been very noticeable on an NHL roster, but his speed was, and that's what drew him overseas. Instead of making a minor league paycheck, Kozun, still at 27 years old, is believed to be making 6 to 7 figures in Russia. He left back in 2015, signing for Finnish side Jokerit, but has since moved on to Russian side Lokomotiv. Everyone who saw him play in North America knew he'd be exceptional in the KHL, and that's exactly what he's done, scoring 105 points in 117 games so far. He will most likely be on Canada's Olympic roster in 2018, and who knows, he may even entertain an NHL return as he gets older. Number 3, Nigel Dawes. It's crazy to think that Nigel Dawes is only 32 years old, meaning he left the NHL at 26. His decision is understandable, of course, as we've touched on already in this video. He jumped around in North America, and it's clear that he just wanted more stability, and the money, of course. He's been a staple on Barry's Astana since 2011, and was just named captain last season, a crazy feat for a Canadian in the KHL. His performance backs it up, of course, as he's recorded 161 goals and 288 points in 331 games. In all honesty, Nigel Dawes has probably had one of the best Canadian careers overseas and will surely be on the Olympic team. 
Evgeny Dadanov. It's been five years since Dadanov ditched the NHL for his homeland, and it's fair to say that the 28-year-old has improved drastically. He has since scored 240 points in 311 games for SKA St. Petersburg, and has won two Gagarin Cups. Despite his increased ability now, don't expect him to come running back to the NHL. He's no reason to. Number 1. Ilya Kovalchuk At the time of recording, Kovalchuk has not yet signed back in the NHL, and it remains to be seen whether he actually will or not, so we will go ahead and still consider him as a KHL player. Everyone remembers when he left millions on the table back in 2013 for even more millions in Russia, but he may be regretting his decision right about now after the collapse of the Russian ruble. Since he left for SKA St. Petersburg, he scored 107 goals and 264 points in 245 games played, as well as two Gagarin Cup championships. It appears now that he may be searching for another challenge, however I think it would make more sense if he waits until after the upcoming Olympic Games. What other former NHLers are playing overseas? Let us know down below. Don't forget to comment what other videos you'd like to see and to subscribe for more content every week.